Hi, I'm Kyle Houchins. I'm a tech and a trainer for McNeil, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about sub-Ds in Rhino V7 Whip. Now, you've probably already noticed if you've played with them already that sub-Ds can exist in two different states. The terms for these modes is a source of great internal debate right now, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to refer to this as smooth mode, and I'm going to refer to this as box mode. The names on this may change. That's fine. But for this video, we're just going to refer to it as box and smooth. All right, so in this mode, this is what we're referring to as box mode. If I hit the tab key, this is what we're referring to as smooth mode. And I wanted to talk about the difference between why you would model in one versus the other. Now, if you've seen me do demos or, or taken any of my classes or uh, uh, seen me do any sub-D stuff in the past, you'll, you'll note that I do 99% of my modeling in box mode, and there's a reason for that. And I wanted to just do a quick demo and show why. So this is smooth mode. I'm going to hit the tab key and go to box mode. And you'll see that that changes into its simpler form of uh, its control polygon shape here. And let's go ahead and just start doing a little modeling. I'm going to come up. I'm going to start extruding out by dragging, holding down shift, and holding down control. And then I'm going to come up. Same thing. Drag, hold down shift, hold down control. Come up, drag, shift, control, up, drag, shift, control. You get the point. Oops, let's do it right. I'm going to come up one more time. And then I'm going to do something a little interesting. I'm going to rotate and extrude at the same time. So I'm going to relocate the gumball down here. And I'm going to start rotating, but then I'm going to hold down control, and you'll see that it actually starts making another set of faces. Now, this edge is perfectly coincident with this edge down here, which I don't necessarily want. So I'm going to pull this up just a hair, and you'll see that thing start to reveal itself. I'm going to do the gumball again, relocate the gumball again, and rotate, hold down control. And then I'm going to pull this one forward just a little bit just so we don't stack our edges. And it's really easy to keep track of that. It's really easy to see that in this mode. And the last thing I'm going to do is just pull out uh, the, the last set of edges here to finish the model. If I hit the tab key and pop into smooth mode, you can see that the model essentially builds itself, right? We don't have to do anything. It's all organized and clean and smooth and, and all that stuff. And it's easy, to, it's easy to see how we got from here to here, right? So let's do the same thing, but let's do it in smooth mode. So I'm going to start again with a single face. And you'll notice right off the bat that it becomes a little bit more difficult to identify where the edges are. If we shift control click, we can find them, but it's a little more difficult to see exactly where they are. I'm going to do the same thing. Pull up, shift control, up, drag shift control, up, drag shift control. You get the point. So we can essentially do the same model, right? And everything looks to be everything looks to be fairly the same, right? From side to side. When we start doing this rotation, that's when it starts to become a little bit more interesting because locating the gumball becomes a little bit more difficult to do. So let's relocate the gumball, and I'm going to stick it here on this edge, and I'm going to start rotating. When we do the rotation, it starts to become a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to relocate the gumball to here and we're going to start rotating. I'm going to hold down control and you can see that just like before we get the same effect, right? And then I'm going to relocate the gumball again. And then I'm going to pull it out like we did before to finish up the model. And generally speaking we got the same shape except when we pop into box mode again. And you'll see that because we weren't able to really precisely locate the gumball when we did the revolve, that, that extruded revolve, you can see that we get a little bit of self-intersection going on down here. And you can see it very clearly in smooth mode. You can see where it's self-intersecting right here, right? See that? Now, is that the end of the world? No, but we could have avoided it had we done this, done this part in, in box mode because we would have been able to very easily see what was happening. And in this case, we just pop back into box mode to fix it, grab the edges, straighten them out, 
and we're right back to having a nice high quality model, right? So the, the point I'm trying to make here is if you spend most of your time in box mode and keep this box mode super organized and super clean, don't intersect anything, don't cross anything over, when you hit the tab key and pop into smooth mode, your model is going to be really nice and clean and well organized. If you, uh, if you work in smooth mode, it's very easy to make a mess out of your box mode, which you'll then have to go back and fix because it's going to start to cause problems. It's going to be difficult to edit. Now, another nice thing about working in box mode is things like bevels are super easy to control. So if we just go here and we want to tighten this model up a little bit, we can do it super easy. We can see exactly what's going on and we know that the result is going to be super predictable. Whereas if we try to do the same thing in smooth mode, it becomes a little bit harder to control. See, it's like, it's not really, it doesn't really perform very well and sometimes it doesn't even like to do it at all in smooth mode. So I always encourage everybody to do this kind of stuff in box mode. Do most of your modeling in box mode and it'll help you keep your models super organized, super clean, and it'll make your life a lot easier. I'm Kyle Houchins. This is Sub-D in version 7, work in progress, and I hope this little tip is useful. Thanks.